Hey there, elites. How's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 52. So, we're at a noisy place today. Very, very loud. I, I keep asking them to keep it down, but uh, they're not really keeping it down. We're actually starting over here at the zombie farm today to answer a question from a couple episodes ago, which sounds weird, but assuming that you can read, you probably already have a pretty decent idea as to what today's episode will be about. It'll be about tridents and drowned, which uh, brings us to the point of drowned farms from zombie spawners on Java Edition. Unfortunately, on Java Edition, making a drowned farm out of a zombie spawner is pretty much pointless. Now, on Bedrock Edition, that's not necessarily the case, and it could be worth your time, but, yep, it doesn't work on Java Edition, and that is why I didn't turn this into a drowned farm. Even if I went through the effort to convert this farm into a drowned farm a few episodes back, I wouldn't actually receive drowned loot from it on Java Edition, so, uh, basically, big bummer, big bad. Uh, that's why I did not make this thing a drowned farm. Mm-hmm. I am super pleased with how this farm ended up, though. This thing is amazing. Easily my favorite mob farm in the world. The experience from this thing, it's pretty crazy. The loot is really nice, too, because of our looting three sword. But, uh, yeah, long story short, very, very good farm. Now, today's episode is all about the trident. A few episodes back, uh, actually like quite a while back now when we were building this set of armor, I asked you guys to guess what the next big project would be. If you guessed uh, getting Guardian Revenge, you are the big brain, you have won the big test. What do you get? Nothing. There is no prize. Today the plan is to get our hands on a trident. This could be something that is very, very time consuming. This might be difficult, but hopefully it's not. We actually are completely ready. We have all of the gear that we need to get a trident. So, Stanley, how you doing? You're gonna come with us today. We need to ride off to the ocean first, because if the goal is tridents, we'll have to do quite a bit of hunting. Tridents are not craftable. So, good friend Stanley, you are going to be good. You're, you will be good horse, and you will wait right here. We'll go ahead and make a temporary stable for Stanley right here, like this, and Stanley's good. Stanley is trapped there until we come back for him, which we will is sooner rather than later, but uh, Stanley definitely shouldn't go into the water with us today because drowned with tridents, uh, they are very, very strong. If you're trying to get a trident, I definitely recommend having at least a decent set of armor, having some water enchantments on your boots and your helmet would be a really really good idea yeah drowned with tridents they can like to hit you if you don't have good armor so it, you're gonna need the good armor you will also definitely absolutely not a question about it want to have a looting of three sword on you unless you're willing to do this for potentially hours like literally hours it could take a long time on Minecraft Java Edition, 6.25% of drowned have the chance to spawn with a trident. That is already not very good. Once you take that drowned out, you'll have an 8.5% chance to get a trident. Yep, that's right. Uh, very, very bad odds. But fortunately, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful enchantment. The devs love us. They gave us the beautiful enchantment of looting a long time ago, and each level of looting will increase our drop percentage chance. Each level of looting will raise the chance that we have to receive a trident by 1%. So that means so with the looting three sword, we have a whopping 11.5% chance to receive a trident from a drowned that is holding a trident. So first, get a really good set of armor, and then get a looting three sword. Bonus points if you put sharpness on the sword. Sharpness will definitely help take the drowned out. Next, head to an ocean in your world. Then, jump into the water. If you have good armor, swimming around is a great, great, great idea. While you're swimming in the water, drowned will spawn and actually be attracted to you. If you were riding in a boat, the drowned actually won't care about you because you're not in the body of water. So swimming will definitely help. But uh, you should only swim if you have a good set of armor. If you're working with like even an unenchanted iron set of armor, you're going to want to stick closer to the shore just in case things get bad. Fortunately, Drowned will stop pathfinding to you if you jump out of the water. So if things get bad, we could grab this boat, place it down, we could jump into the boat, and the Drowned that are around us will not care about us anymore. Now, uh, you're looking for a drowned, like that guy over there, I like the sights of that, that's a beautiful sight. You're looking for the drowned holding the tridents. If uh, you have a drowned like this guy that doesn't have a trident, 0% chance to get a trident. Uh, you should probably take it out, but yep, don't expect a trident. Now you, buddy, buddy, you're gonna be really nice to me today, you're gonna be good. What we're gonna do, 
is let the drown hit us once. What, what, what enchantments? How good is your trident? Okay, you're pretty weak. I just wanted to test it out. Uh, but you, you're gonna have to go away. Now we need to, of course, take this drown out with the looting three sword and hope and hope and oh man, <laughs> and hope for for a trident. But unfortunately, no trident. You go away. I'm not happy. Your friend did not. Your friend did not do it, man. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get used to that. That's probably gonna happen quite a bit today. Now, Drowned and Tridents were added back in the update Aquatic. There's a bit of an interesting mechanic that I've never understood when it comes to Drowned and item dropping. If a Drowned spawns with a Nautilus shell, it actually has a 100% chance to drop that Nautilus shell. But, uh, that's not the case for Tridents, which is definitely a huge, huge bummer. Drowned can actually also spawn holding fishing rods, which is kind of cool, but let's be honest, we don't need the fishing rods from the Drowned. Uh, we could, by this point in the game, we can definitely craft a fishing rod. Maybe. Probably. Now, finding a drown with a trident is something that can take a lot of time. You're basically waiting for the game to actually spawn one of those mobs into the game, and then you're hoping that you'll have the chance to actually pick up a trident. It can take a lot of time. If you're having trouble finding drown, though, there is one trick that you can do. Actually, if you find these ruins under the water and you head over to them, there should be a few drowned near them. When these ruins generate in your world, they actually generate with some drowned. Those drowned definitely do have a chance to spawn with a trident. And there's also loot here. There should be loot in here. I don't think I've looted this one quite yet. I know I saw a chest. Uh, this chest, I definitely saw this one. What do we have here? Uh, nothing good. We'll go ahead and take the coal. That stuff can stay. And then I think I saw another one right over here, right? Yeah, right there. You go away, block. What do we have? A map. Oh, okay. A treasure map. That's cool. We can go ahead and look at that. Uh, we are actually really close. I could go ahead and go for some treasure. That could be cool. I'm thinking that that would be back over near our base though right like that's gonna be over there so we'll get that when we're heading back home for now we'll go ahead and continue the hunt now i definitely recommend doing this hunt during the daytime you see minecraft can only spawn so many hostile mobs at a time so if you're trying to do this at nighttime you'll have hostile mobs spawning up on the surface like over there in in that field thank you dolphin that was kind of you definitely needed that You'll have hostile mobs spawning on the surface as well as in the ocean, which is a problem. If hostile mobs can spawn on the surface, they'll have less of a chance to spawn under the ocean. Basically, big bad. If you're really, really dedicated to this project, theoretically, you could find a spot in the ocean, go under the ocean floor, light up all of the caves, and then you'll actually have really, really good spawning rates under the water. But uh, let's be honest, I'm not willing to dedicate that much time to this. I think it'll be a whole lot easier to just swim around the ocean and hope we get lucky eventually, which I know we will. It'll just be a matter of time. Also, definitely take advantage of the Drowned's natural pathfinding ability. If you swim up towards the surface of the ocean, Drowned will also swim up towards the surface of the ocean. It might be smarter to take on the Drowned up near the surface in case anything bad starts to happen. You could use your getaway boat and get away, or you could just get a fresh breath of air mid-fight. So, the plan today is to basically swim around this ocean like crazy and pay as much attention as possible to the drowned spawns. Sooner or later, a drowned will spawn with a trident and we'll get lucky. How long will it be? Honestly, unfortunately, no clue. While swimming around this ocean, I'll definitely be making a stop at each and every ruin that I find, and if you're looking for a trident, you should definitely do the same thing. If you have a really good eye and there's like an open ocean like this area over here, you can actually stay up on the surface and see where drowned are spawning. I see one right down there. No trident though, so not really worth our time. Hello there, buddy. You're gonna have to go away. Thank you very much. Thank you. While waiting for a drowned to actually spawn with a trident, it would be a very good idea to keep moving unless you've lit up all of the caves and blocked all other potential spawning areas for hostile mobs in a specific area. If I were to stand right here and just wait, a bunch of hostile mobs would spawn in the caves that are definitely underneath this ocean and they'd idle around. As those mobs spawn and idle around, just waiting, they're taking up the hostile mob cap and basically blocking, eventually eliminating the chance for Drown to actually spawn in the ocean over here with the trident. Long story short, unless you've blocked all other potential hostile mob spawns in an area, which you probably haven't, keep moving. Oi, you? No, 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 no. Goodbye. A drowned will only spawn if the light level is 7 or less. So if you have some area that is crazy lit up under the sea, well, uh, the drowned won't spawn there. So don't waste your time waiting for the drowned to spawn there. 
The drone can actually spawn in river biomes. If you have a river biome near your base and maybe you lit up all of the caves, you could just use the river to hunt drowned but it could take more time. Rivers are going to generally be smaller than oceans because, I mean, it's a river. If you have less water, that means less space for the drown to spawn. It is not fun, elites. Definitely not fun at all, but patience is key here. It's worth it in the end. So just keep moving, keep swimming, keep looking. Eventually it will happen. It's just a matter of time. I'd like to take a break here real quick before I continue swimming to talk about drowned hunting without good armor. If you don't have good armor and you're trying to hunt drowned, well, one, uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult, but two, you could use this method right here. So here we are at some beach. The beach could really be anywhere so long as it is a beach. Let's say I have a drowned down there at the bottom of the ocean. I could jump into the water and let the drowned swim up towards me a little bit. Then I could jump out of the water. Watch out for the tridents. If the drowned does have a trident, it will be throwing that trident at you. But basically, you can jump in and out of the water and lure the drowned upwards towards you. And then once the drowned is up near the surface near you, you could jump into the water and finish that drowned off. But I only recommend doing that if uh, you don't have a good set of armor. It is going to be a lot more tricky and a lot more time consuming. On better Edition, though, that works pretty well. But getting a trident on better Edition is generally not very difficult at all. The struggle is nowhere near as much of a struggle over there. Being out in the open ocean, like no land nearby, will probably be your best bet. One hundred percent. This is the one. It has to be the one. I've been at it for so long. One hit, two hits. The energy feels right here. You're gonna hit. You're, you're, you drop that trident for me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, elites. Oh elites. This is big. This is big. This is big. Oh wow. You don't know how happy I am. I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm sorry, COD. You know what? No, 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 no. This is gonna be a special COD. You will live with us forever. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This trident took forever to get i've been at this for so so long elites it's been a long time i was heading over to this right here wow um wow we're a long ways from home but it does not matter because we have a trident and we're here at the shipwreck so i wanted to check the shipwreck out uh this is definitely not a shipwreck that i've found quite yet we are yeah again very very far from home this is amazing i finally got the trident so once you get lucky enough like me your guy here to get a trident the trident can have random or will have random durability it could be really really good it could be uh, kind of bad right here is a decent trident uh, but unfortunately we have somebody that i like to call sandy who can help us out with our trident now unfortunately if you find a trident and it doesn't have you know like a lot of durability you're gonna need to fix it up how do you fix a trident up? Well, very bad news, but to fix a trident up, and this definitely doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but to fix a trident up, you need to find another trident, or you'll have to get mending. So, uh, yeah, if you were unfortunate and you got a, a broken trident, I'm sorry. I feel your pain. Um, this took me a long time, which was painful, but yeah, you're you're going to need to get another trident. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, uh, since we are right here over by this treasure, let's go ahead and grab the treasure. Then we're going to head home and get this trident stacked. We need this trident to be OP. I mean, as it stands right now, it would be good. We can throw it. We can use it and everything. But there are definitely some special enchantments that belong on tridents that we should 100% get on our trident. Now, in terms of, like, our location in the world, I think we're sort of near the Mesa, if I'm right. I think the Mesa should be over that way, I, th I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I think that's where we are. I know our base is way back at, I think, about negative 300, zero. Yeah, the base is right there. Okay, so, yep, that's where we are. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the base should be somewhere like negative 300, maybe like 80 or something like that. Now, the treasure. It looks like we're going to have some fully landed treasure this time. We're going to go ahead and try the fills away of finding treasure. I have very bad luck with finding the treasure this way, elites. That's why I didn't go over it in uh, the episode. But if we line ourselves up like this, and then we look down and we dig, 
oh my gosh it worked <laughs> it worked oh wow okay so the trick here this is again phil's this trick but look at how i'm lined up on that x right there oh wow it worked i have very bad luck with this method but that's beautiful this is some treasure right here we're gonna go ahead and bring all of that home that's our third heart of the sea inventory is filled perfectly definitely time to go home now now, instead of using a boat and just sailing home or uh, going over to the Mesa and using our portal, I will actually swim all the way home just in case. Maybe we'll get lucky and find... Maybe we could find more tridents, which would be cool. I don't expect it. it this took a long time, but maybe. I mean, you never know, right? So I'm going to go ahead and fill this map in, and then I will be swimming all the way back to the base for some enchanting. Oh boy, elites, that was a very, very successful journey. So, we're back over at the base now. Pam's doing well, and the loot is doing very, very well as well. So, this chest is all of the loot that we got from our adventure, but most importantly, this beautiful, beautiful thing right there. We're gonna go ahead and bring that with us, and then we'll bring this bucket of cod with us as well. All of this other stuff can sort of wait here. Other than the heart of the sea, we'll go ahead and put that thing over here with the other other heart of the seas that we have so three that's pretty good now we do i believe have some enchanting to get done but first this cod needs to live somewhere so let's go ahead and put uh the cod right there you will live there forever my friend now the fish that you place down from these buckets will never despawn so that cod will live there forever as long as it doesn't like get hurt on something or, or something unfortunate like that but uh we're gonna definitely hope that that doesn't happen that would be really really bad also, uh, I need some water because I'm not a big fan of that random flowing block right there. I have no clue how that happened. I wonder how long that's been like that. Now, uh, tried an enchantment. So, I did find this book that we have. Channeling is a tried an enchantment. But I'd like to go ahead and check the AFK fish farm because in between this cut and the last one, I actually did go ahead and use it a little bit for something that we will need in the next episode. That thing, uh, we'll need these right here. Eight of these Nautilus shells for the next episode. But uh, I think we might actually have some enchanted books in here. Well, actually, I know we have a lot of enchanted books in here. And Loyalty 3, ooh, that's really good. We're looking for Trident enchantments right now. Enchantments that will help us build something that is really, really good. And we actually just found the most important Trident enchantment. So... Yeah, this enchanting stuff, it's going to be pretty easy now. Uh, I just want to double check everything, check that one, and that is it. Now, I actually started organizing a little bit. Uh, the fish over here, the cod are going to go in there, and then maybe the other fish as well, and then things like saddles will go in here. Then, I don't know, I kind of stopped there, because the enchanted books will go over to the armory. Maybe we'll put other things like just junk in that other chest. I'd like to keep things like name tags in the storage building as well, because they're kind of good, they're kind of fancy you know but yeah there's some updates to this farm it's been working amazingly and we have the shells that we need for the next big project now finally it is enchanting time <laughs> When tridents were added to Minecraft back in the update Aquatic, they came with four unique trident enchantments. These are enchantments that will only go on tridents. The first one is definitely the most important one. That enchantment is loyalty. With loyalty on your trident, it will come back to you. There are three different levels of loyalty. Loyalty 1, 2, and 3. Each increasing level of loyalty decreases the amount of time that it will take for your trident to actually come back to you. So loyalty 3 grants you the fastest return speed of your trident. If you don't have loyalty on your trident, you're going to need to go pick the thing up if you throw it to actually use it again that is not very fun sounding at all the second special trident enchantment is the channeling enchantment channeling is very very cool if you throw your trident at something during a thunderstorm that thing will get struck with a lightning bolt with the channeling enchantment lightning can be channeled right over to wherever your trident lands that's very very cool now these first two enchantments that we just talked about are mutually exclusive with Riptide, which means if you have channeling on your trident or if you have loyalty on your trident, you cannot get Riptide on your trident. Riptide is a cool enchantment, but I really personally don't like it very much. If you have Riptide on your trident and you use your trident, you'll be pulled forward, sort of like in a stream towards your target. It's cool and all, but I don't know. It's not really for me. There are three different levels of Riptide. 
Finally, we have Impaling, which is basically sharpness for a trident. Impaling increases the damage that your trident will do. So, what do we have? We have Unbreaking 3. Okay, Unbreaking 3 is an amazing, amazing enchantment. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it, see what we have. Unbreaking 3, only Unbreaking 3. Man, <laughs> I really, really wanted that Impaling. Oh, boy. So, big question. Do we unenchant it or do we keep it? Oh, man. Um, game, why do you gotta do this? Oh, boy. You know what? I would hate to disenchant it and then, and then have something that's not worth it. <laughs> I wish we had another trident right now. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I don't necessarily love the sound of this idea, but we're gonna go ahead and disenchant that trident. Ouch. And hope that something better is here. Unbreaking 3 again? Well, okay. At the least, we get it back. Hopefully, we don't have something like Riptide on this thing. Unbreaking 3, that's really it? Wow. <laughs> that's a big yikes, because you could definitely get those enchantments that I was just talking about from an enchanting table. A little bit of a bummer there, but Unbreaking 3, that's not bad. We'll just have to get that impaling enchantment later on at some point. Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, I can fish it up in the AFK fish farm. Now, next up, we definitely need mending on our trident for sure. Not a question about it. Is there a book up here? Yes, there is. Okay, good. I completely forgot about that. So, mending, boom. Thank you very much, Sandy. You are always, always a treasure. So, aside from those four fancy trident enchantments that we just talked about, tridents can also get unbreaking, mending, and the curse of vanishing. All other enchantments cannot go on the trident, unfortunately. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, one thing that never made sense to me is uh, looting on the Trident. Why can't that happen? I mean, it is what it is, but just why? So, now we're going to go ahead and build our Trident up with all of these enchantments, starting with Loyalty 3, because that is definitely the most important one out of the bunch. So, Loyalty 3, boom, there we go. Now our Trident will come back to us. Now, we'll go ahead and put Channeling on this Trident so we can control the Thunder. That's really cool sounding. Finally, we'll go ahead and put some Mending on this Trident, and then we need to name the Trident. I don't really have a good name for the Trident right now, so we'll go ahead and name the Trident Steve. That's a strong, cool name. Very uh, Minecraft, and uh, later, we'll, we'll name it something better. Now, it's time to go ahead and fix this Trident up, but first, we need to throw the Trident at something. Probably not the bees. Let's just throw the Trident over here. Ooh, that is so cool. Now, we can use this Trident to actually hunt things, which is really, really awesome, and this is going to help us for sure with water things unfortunately no impaling but i i think we'll be able to get our hands on impaling later on maybe if i'm lucky i'll fish it up in the afk fish farm if not i could get a random book enchanted with impaling and just combine it to this trident time to heal this thing up though so while i wait for the zombies to actually drop down into this farm let's go ahead and talk the best trident possible in my opinion we almost have the best possible trident in minecraft we are only missing impaling if we got impaling five on this trident this would be the best trident possible in minecraft unless you like the sounds of riptide if you're going with riptide remove the loyalty remove the channeling put riptide on your trident and boom you're good to go but again your guy over here is not a big fan of riptide so i would personally never go for a riptide trident personal preference though so let's go ahead and remove these mending things and let's go i had a get rid of you guys uh, thank you very much for all of that experience and you guys over here thank you very much as well oh we're so close so close oh man this is why i love this farm i've been down here for like no time at all and our trident is in perfect health while we're down here i feel like we might as well heal up the pickaxe as well so you there we go and then over here the shovel too there we go we are back to full health with everything that has mending on it uh which makes me remember that i should probably get mending on our sword i mean why not at this point right probably Hi, Sandy. Long time no see how you've been doing. Let's go ahead and get a mending book from you. One more trade and you will level up. That is a big moment. I'm so proud of you, Sandy. So proud of you. By the way, one of you guys recommended doing this. Uh, big brain move right there because the fence gate closes, but ooh, I'm going to have to fix that later on. Uh, I'm going to have to fix that right now. That's going to drive me crazy. Big brain move. Thank you very much. So, before we put mending on our sword, we have one big deciding, determining factor. The sword only has sharpness 3. If we put another sharpness 3 book on it, what do we get? We get sharpness 4. Okay, okay, we could probably go for sharpness 4 and then eventually find, like, a, a sharpness 4 book and put it on here too. That might be a pretty good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. And then mending right there. Ooh, 
that sword is really really good too now all we need is sharpness five and our diamond sword is pretty much set it is going to be heartbreaking if i ever lose these tools to like the void or something that uh, would be devastating but at least that is actually going to be just about it for today's episode of the minecraft guide that is how you get your hands on a trident and that is in my opinion what the best trident in this game would be this thing is going to be our new best friend but it definitely needs a better name so name ideas throw those down below in the comments if you liked the video drop a like and subscribe today i'd like to send a big thank you a big shout out out to charlie may and gareth k thank you very very much for the support and i will see you all in the next episode merchant links right down below this video goodbye stay elite